This is uh, day three after the yeast was pitched. Uh, it's slowed right down. They're still pumping out um, a reasonable amount of carbon dioxide every now and again. Uh, there you go, but I'll just um, wait now until this has ceased working altogether. I'll probably give, a, give it a week or two, um, and then start checking the gravity to make sure the gravity's not moving still. Um, and then look at uh, decanting it and uh, taking a final gravity reading and uh, distilling it. This is day six of the, uh, no, day seven of the ferment. It's exactly uh, one week ago that I um, pitched the yeast into this. It uh, waned off a little bit and uh, it's picked up again. I've been away for the last couple of days at work and uh, came back uh, last night and it's going again like this. Um, I'm assuming because the, the last couple of days have been a lot warmer it's, that the fermentation's picked up. Um, and uh, with the um, glucoamylase in there as well, it's, um, it's probably created a lot of uh, glucose that uh, this thing is now feed that the yeast is now feeding on. That's the, with the um, glucoamylase, it can extend the fermentation right out because you're basically fueling your yeast while they're working. Uh, it's not just the, the the fermentable material in the barrel it's actually creating it as it goes along as well so it can, can poke the uh, fermentation out although I haven't had one this long I wouldn't have expected this to be um, going as hard out as it is on day seven usually usually the first week it's all done and dusted and then it's a little, little bit of activity for the, the following week and then you're good to start settling and, and, and potentially distilling um, so we'll just uh, leave this to do its funky thing and, and come back when it's stopped and give it a give it a week or so after that.